If you're thinking about getting a Weber gas grill for yourself or a loved one, I've got some news for you. It's gonna be a hit. Weber consistently ranks among the best, most dependable gas grills you can buy, and it recently introduced some very cool upgrades. But as I'm sure you know, there are lots to choose from. And while any Weber grill can give you great results, they're not all created equal. Hi, I'm Elise with Designer Appliances. We're the only appliance store that makes it our job to take the stress and confusion out of appliance shopping. Today, I'm gonna share three things you need to know about Weber. I'll also help you sort through Weber's gas grill lineup and tell you which one we think is the real standout. Before we jump into all things Weber, have any questions? Post them in the comments and we'll get you an expert answer. First, let's talk a little about Weber. It's an iconic American brand. If it were a car, it'd be a Jeep Wrangler. Owning one is practically a rite of passage and it deserves its good reputation. Weber has eliminated the two biggest problems gas grills have, rust and faulty igniters. You can leave your Weber grill out in the elements for a decade and it won't rust. Kind of like a great car, actually. As for the igniter, it eventually will break on every grill, even ones that cost seven times what Weber's do. The great thing about Weber's is they're simple. It's easy to light a Weber with a stick lighter if you don't want to bother repairing it, or get new parts to fix it under the company's super long, up to 12 year warranty. Second, you should know Weber makes three gas grill product lines, Spirit, Genesis, and Summit. Spirit is basically Weber's line for big box home improvement stores. The price point is low and the quality is good. For example, compared with a brand like Charbroil that might cost a few hundred dollars less, Weber Spirits won't rust, their igniters work better, and you'll get better customer service and parts access but you should know that assembling a spirit grill is like putting together an Ikea wardrobe, maddening. We don't recommend them, but if you're on a budget, they're head and shoulders above the other options you'll find in the aisles. At the opposite end of the spectrum is Summit, Weber's high-end gas grills. These are expensive and bulky and made of stainless steel. They arrive practically ready to fire up. They've got lots of burners and a pro-style look, but they're not exactly pro grills. True Pro Grills have higher BTU burners and searing zones you can adjust. For instance, a Lynx grill has 24,000 BTU burners versus the Summit's 13,000 BTUs. It also has an infrared sear burner that lets you fine tune the temperature, where the Summit sear station has one setting, on or off. True Pro style grills like Blink Sedona or XO also give you a better rotisserie, and this might matter to you, bragging rights among the grill masters in your neighborhood. In the middle is Genesis, Weber's sweet spot. These grills come in right around $1,000, have everything most people need, and are built to last. They require very little assembly too. Finally, let's talk about grates. Grill nerds go on and on about stainless steel versus porcelain enamel, which is better. We happen to like stainless steel a little better because it won't chip when you scrape it with a metal bristle brush. Porcelain enamel can chip, but otherwise there's nothing wrong with it. You just want heavy grates. Higher end Weber Genesis and Summit grills have stainless steel grates, while most grates are porcelain enamel. Okay, that's a lot of information. We're about to move on to our pick, but first, do you have any questions? Go ahead and drop them in the comments. Our favorite Weber grill is the company's workhorse, the Genesis 325S. It's got an ideal combination of quality, features, and price. If you have an older Weber Spirit and want to upgrade, or if you're in the market for your first grill and want something with a little more firepower than an entry-level model, the Genesis 325S is a great choice. It has three burners, hefty 7mm stainless steel grates, and almost 800 square inches of cook space, plus a new extra-large prep and serve table. It also has Weber's new proprietary pure blue high heat burners, which give you an even flame across the entire grilling area. That means no more hot spots or constant shuffling. And if steak is your thing, we think you'll like this. It has Weber's biggest high heat sear zone to date, so you can sear multiple steaks at once. And here are a couple of other features we really like on the 325S. Its expandable top cooking grate is super versatile. You can fold it out to create a second level of grilling space for things like corn, potatoes, or a separate grill pan. You can fold it in to function as a warming rack for a couple of hot dog buns, or you can fold it up entirely for full access to the main grill surface. And check this out, it's one of our favorite additions to the Genesis line. Weber added a handle light for nighttime grilling. Brilliant! No need to turn it on, 
Just raise the hood and the built-in LED illuminates everything. You're still welcome to fumble around with flashlights and headlamps at night, but we don't think you'll need them. In addition to all those highlights, the 325S also comes loaded with a host of features that Weber's known for. You get digital thermometer connectivity, flavorizer bars underneath the grate. These are unique to Weber deflectors that catch dripping so they don't cause flare-ups and send the smoky flavor back up onto your food. And an improved redesigned pull-out grease tray. We really like this. It doesn't have a side burner or rotisserie, but you might not need those things. Before we move on to some final pointers, do you have any other questions about what's new with Genesis? Post them below and we'll get you details ASAP. Here are our final tips for shopping. Number one, if you wanna upgrade a little, look at higher end Weber Genesis grills with a side burner. You'll appreciate it if you wanna cook your whole meal outside without going back into the kitchen. The next step up, Summit. We're partial to the Summit S670. This stainless steel beauty's got six burners, a side burner, and a specially designed ignition system. There's also a very nice rotisserie. Even nicer, take a look at Lynx or XO Pro grills. Number two, know what fuel type you need. It's technically possible to convert a Weber from natural gas to LP, but neither the company nor its authorized dealers will help you. Take our word for it and stick with the correct fuel source. Number three, invest in a Weber cover. I know, I just said Webers won't rust. They won't. This is just about keeping your grill cleaned and ready to use. Aftermarket third-party covers can crack and split, especially in the winter. Weber covers are softer and fit your grill perfectly. Number four, Weber updated its product numbers this season. You can still find older models though. Ready to get grilling on a Weber? Click on the link below to buy one now and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful grilling advice. Thanks for watching and happy grilling.